everybody Todd Metalhead weatherman here hopefully everyone's doing well been a pretty active weekend here uh, had severe weather chances on Friday we had severe weather occur on Saturday and then also we had winter weather in the Northeast and we may have a little bit going on towards the Northwest but as we look towards the week ahead here fire danger is going to be a big thing along with severe weather while today looks like it's going to be pretty tame in regards to the uh, wildfire threat as we go beyond that point say for tomorrow we have critical outlooks for most of the great plains here and then when then uh, beyond that point heading tuesday into wednesday we also have increased fire threats already so we have to be on the lookout especially towards west texas we've already been having problems over here with wildfire so practice fire safety because while i don't want to sound like smoky only you can prevent forest fires that's actually true so be responsible that's all i'm going to really say there but that being said we do have the severe weather threat to talk about too where a day five slight risk is now in effect too this is going to be mainly centered around the Dallas area. We've been talking about this potential storm system for a while here, and we've had a good bit of continuity. There is a little bit of discrepancy, but not much in between the models here. So this 15% uh, area is going to be the point of interest over the next couple of days and talk of the channel. Another thing to make note of is the other days, four through eight, excluding day five, all have predictability too low. So we will be also watching those days for severe potential. So let's go ahead and get into that model data here and get a look at just what we could be dealing with as far as the wind pattern and beyond. And that's what we'll be starting out with here. So this is our current system that's rolling through the Northeast, bringing in wintry precip and some cool temperatures to start out the week for the East Coast here. But we're gonna quickly rebound from that as this ridge comes in and warms us right back up. And for a decent chunk of the week, the first half of the week is actually going to be very nice. It's when we see this system come in here on the back half of Wednesday is when the game starts to change. Now, while this setup for Wednesday night is not all that impressive, there is a marginal risk in effect for this. I do think mainly the threat will be hail, especially with the wave that we'll get coming off the mountains here. But as we go beyond that point, this trough starts to dig and look at this little region that pops up here this region is going to help a short wave develop over here and this is kind of favoring away from dallas a little bit more off to the south and east and maybe towards louisiana where the potential exists for maybe even tornadic activity here based off the sounding that i uh, clicked on a little bit earlier before the start of the video it's not necessarily the best sounding that i've seen but it's one that can verify nonetheless for tornadic potential and then also the threat for damaging wind and hail is evident on here as well so we'll have to be extra careful over here towards this region as we get towards the back half of the week and then eventually as this system rolls off to the east there is some potential for additional severe weather although with the euro at the very least we're not looking at something quite as impressive as what we could potentially see on thursday even then, Thursday is not necessarily a red letter day by any stretch. <clears throat> so as we continue to go on here, we may see another system pop up here towards the 18th. It doesn't look all that stout, but we'll have to still keep an extra close eye on it. Right now, I'm kind of lean, leaning towards it not doing a whole lot of anything, but this is going to bring more cold air towards the eastern half of the U.S. here. So another cold shot might be on the way here. And at this point, we've actually seen a complete shift in the weather pattern by the time we get towards the back half of the month. Whereas now we're looking at a positive PNA where we're warm out towards the west and cool out towards the east. We'll verify that with the temperatures in just a little bit as we switch over to the GFS. Now we're going to do the same thing because we're looking at pretty much the same thing in regards to the first couple of days. But where things start to change a little bit is in regards to the threat on Thursday. Timing is a little bit different and also the trough digs a little further here. And as a result, we end up seeing a stronger short wave that ends up putting, I guess you would say, just to the south of maybe Dallas under the gun for maybe some significant severe weather. 
and if you compare the two soundings here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up again this setups a little bit better this has a much better low-level profile here and then also the uh, numbers here the indexes are looking better lift index is pretty impressive and then also lapse rates so the hail threats gonna be impressive the damaging wind threat so all hazards seem to definitely be possible as we get into Thursday now once we go beyond that point here I clicked on the wrong model here we can see that as this storm system rolls out of here and I think we actually ended up backtracking somehow as this storm system rolls out of here there's still a couple chances of severe weather but things will pick up beyond this point as this cutoff low comes into play here and maybe there might be a Gulf Coast threat towards the 18th it wasn't really showing as well on the euro here so a little bit of model discrepancy there for the medium to long range here then after that point we get into a fair weather pattern for just a little bit and maybe towards the end of the month we might have a new system try to pop up here really is questionable as to what happens with this trough it does it end up digging and then end up becoming uh, tilted by any stretch or anything it's kind of hard to tell when you're looking almost two weeks out plus so a lot to keep track of in the medium range and a lot to talk about in the short range here so let's go ahead and take a look at those moisture returns and actually get a look at that fire threat here so looking at the euro pretty much going to be a similar deal here but what i want you to pay attention to are these two areas here look at how low the dew points are we have dew points of 17 that is crispy like bone dry crispy right there and we end up continuing to see that over towards this region eventually thankfully that gulf of mexico moisture starts to build over towards this region and it helps slightly mitigate that fire threat as we get later into the week here but eventually as that storm system moves out those drier conditions will return and we'll have to be on the lookout for wildfire threats again towards this area another thing we're trying to look at here in regards to the threat thursday is that moisture return for the region here and we're seeing a pretty ripe uh, environment here in regards to moisture we're seeing mid 60 dew points towards the region some areas could even see some 70s and that ends up persisting into the evening hour so like i said it seems like there is a notable amount of potential over here towards this region and as we get further into range here we'll kind of be looking closer into that and getting into the uh more intricate details with that setup as we go to the gfs now gfs usually is a little bit more aggressive with the moisture returns here so i'm increasingly intrigued as to what this will show here in fact it looks almost identical in a way maybe a little less aggressive actually which is a surprise but over towards dallas is that point of interest and you can see those dew points are still very rich closing in on the 70s nonetheless so in either sense there is definitely some level of a continuity here and a correlation between that point of interest that we were talking about here either it's going to be just to the south maybe southeast of dallas or maybe to the east of dallas getting towards louisiana that will be the points of interest here so as we continue to go forward we're going to go ahead and look at the temperatures here and just kind of get an idea of what everybody is going to look like for the week ahead here like i said it's going to be a cooler uh, morning here over towards the east but like i said we're going to quickly recover we're going to see some widespread 50s and 60s come back into play by the time we get into the following day tuesday we're feeling just like we were last week spring coming back into the picture for these regions here out west it's uh, pretty frigid right now where we're dealing with those widespread 20 and 30 degree temperatures maybe even a few teens sprinkled in towards those higher elevations but this is also going to be what sets the stage for that severe weather setup look at the amount of uh, warm temperatures we have over here towards texas as we build from wednesday into thursday here look at those uh mid 80s right here and even some 90s sneaking back into the fray here and then watch what happens as we go towards thursday while the frontal boundary here isn't incredible there's a major contrast with that short wave in play it does help a lot for those storms to fire 
what concerns me most is that we're seeing those uh, surface temps at the 80s right around the time those dew points are at the 60s so could be making for a very unstable environment convection is going to be a key component to storm development on thursday there then of course as that progresses off to the east we start to cool down naturally and then eventually we end up seeing a little bit of a cool down for everybody by the time we get towards the end of the 10 day period but by the time we go beyond that point here we'll see that we're going to end up warming back up momentarily before shifting ultimately into that uh, positive PNA pattern where we're warm out towards the west here. So here we are again, and GFS is actually showing a slightly different picture here. There's still a little pocket of warm air here and there, but over towards the east, we're definitely cooling down until we get towards that 11 to 12 day period where we've warmed right back up, almost as if it almost as if we never got a cool down over here to begin with but again like i said before this isn't going to last whereas eventually that cold air is going to invade once again as we get towards the back half and latter parts of the month last thing to do is go ahead and take a look at what our radar could look like here over the course of the next couple of weeks now this is more or less just hearsay once we get past the next few days here but this is what we're looking at right now pretty fair over the next couple of days wednesday and thursday is when the weather starts to pick up once again severe weather potential and maybe a clipper system for the northeast before the next system comes in once we get towards that 10 day period of course like i said before it's uh hearsay more or less but pretty stout storm system looks like it tries to take shape here on the wintry side of things almost has the look of a nor'easter we'll keep track of that and see if that ends up verifying or not if it does that could be a pretty notable event especially for this time of year which would be really surprising but this has been a year of surprises so we'll keep an extra close eye on that if we go to the gfs we're going to see a slightly different picture albeit we do get to look a little bit further out with the gfs as well pretty much the same deal wednesday into thursday severe weather threat comes into play and then after that, for right now, the wintry side of things stays pretty tame. And ah, look at that different picture being shown here by the GFS looking a little bit warmer. So it's kind of hard to say as to what will happen with that wintry setup. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding it, though. That's for sure. We go beyond that uh, 10 day period here, though. We do see a couple more storm systems come into play here, as you can see right around this time frame. But yeah, that storm never really looks to form here. And the cold air just doesn't seem to be in place. That moisture just ends up completely outrunning it. So like I said, it could be a fair weather pattern as we get into the longer range runs, especially towards the back half of the month, or we could end up getting the opposite side of the spectrum here. So like I said, a lot to keep track of here. We'll keep you updated as best as we can here. But until then, you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. It's been Tired Metalhead Weatherman. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you later. Have a good rest of your day.